Hello guys and welcome back, this is Player and today I'm going to show you guys how to view a kind of XP farm slash XP storage device for smelting. So um, before all of that I'm going to show you guys like the idea behind. So firstly let me show you guys by smelting six items. One in the first, two in the second and three in the third. So, by the way, if you guys don't know, will I? Oh, yeah. Did I do it wrong? Oh, yeah, I did. Wait. Alright, anyway. So, um, so this two command clear my experience, points, and levels. And, uh, let's see. Are they finishing? Oh, yeah, I messed that up. Alright. Now it's okay. So, here we go. If we collect one iron ingot or one one the result of like one iron ore, sometimes you get no XP, sometimes you will get like a little bit, like two bars or a little bit more. So let's clear our levels and uh, do two iron ingots. So as you can see you get a little bit uh, more iron at uh, a little bit more XP, sorry. And uh, if you collect three it is probably going to give you way more. So the rule of thumb is if you smack more items, uh, you are going to get more XP. So let's go to creative and then go here. So here is a furnace that contains um, a result of one iron gear. But actually they have smelled, well this furnace has smelled three already. So if we pick this up, well, let's do survival and if we pick this up it is going to give us um, the experience that is given by three iron ingots so that's the idea behind um, if if you do it normally without hoppers um, you can only store like 64 well 64 items in the result slot and you can only um, gather so much because well, there's a limit to how much you can store inside a furnace and if you use a hopper that goes inside a furnace and goes out of the furnace the items will go like just they will just pass through the furnace and get smelted but all of the items will actually be sucked out so you can't actually um, press on the result slot and get the XP you want because XP can't get through hoppers and the XP will be stuck in the furnace and you can't get them so the idea here is um, those items will be stored I mean those XP will be stored in the last item that you haven't picked up yet and uh, once you pick it up you will have the accumulated XP of all the items this furnace has melted since last time you picked it up that sounds complicated, but it's actually not. As you can see, this device is fairly compact, but that, that's actually more to it, and I'll explain right in a moment. So, um, yeah, let's just look at this device. So, firstly, uh, there's a dropper going into a furnace. Actually, I'll just show you guys by putting three iron ores into that to smelt. So, once you put it in, it will go around and activate itself and go and one item goes into the furnace and then it will get smelted and then it will go into the hopper and go into this and then we will reactivate this um oops this dropper which gets one item into the iron uh into the furnace and uh does the same again there you go so um okay note that there are no more items here so this actually locks the hopper below and the last item will actually be stuck in here and whenever there is like no more resources for you to smell like no more stuff that you need to smell there will always be one more item here for you to um, collect so that you will get the accumulated uh, experience that all the items are actually given to the furnace so that's the idea and um, I'll show you guys how to build this in a moment, but before that I'm going to show you guys some things that are used here and are probably useful 
and the expansion of this thing because this can actually be used in a lot of ways so the first thing is this thing so if I get um, well like 32 items and I throw it into this hopper this dropper it will actually like dispense all of them one by one so this is a more compact design than um, some others that you may have seen so let me build one of them and show you how usually you are building this so uh, usually you can do something like this I believe well actually let's build this a little bit um, further away so this will still read with the signal and uh, I think usually the way I do it is like so well that's probably enough all right like so and uh, if you throw those items into here it will always um, dispense all them out but it's kind of slower and as you can see it's significantly larger in size so I decided to use this but using this has um, well, has some disadvantage and advantages. The advantage is um, it definitely is smaller. And the second thing is you can't actually use um, use the space next to it, like some of the space next to it, because it actually uses two observers, which I I'm not sure if that's a bug. But if you uh, put two observers facing uh, into each other they will actually um, activate themselves automatically um, so that's the idea that I've been using down here and it's also silent when it's not when it's not uh, throwing items out which is good but it's always um, it's always on like the clock is always on so that's one thing I've been using and the second thing is this is actually not so stable due to kind of an in-game bug I would consider it an in-game bug so because sometimes when um, the dropper actually throws the item out the tripwire would actually ignore the item passing through it is probably because of um, this collision box being too small and some I sometimes items just render to be um, within like a tick they just go from here to there and without touching the collision box so that's kind of I would consider an in-game bug and uh, it doesn't happen with other entities because other entities like mobs or players are way bigger and it kind of only happens with items so the only way you can solve this by or <coughs> or I'm not sure um, is to actually change this monastery circuit thing into a clock or you can do it manually and just press this button and um, more items will go into this furnace but most of the time it's reliable and um, apart from the in-game bot thing I can't actually come with come up with any other theories that why it doesn't work reliably because items do come through here and uh, if the items do come through the oh shit the tripwire thingy well I just broke it um, if it does come through the tripwire thingy then um, then it definitely will activate this uh, dropper but sometimes this dropper doesn't activate and I've seen it happening the items go right through this but the tripwire doesn't get activated I've already put in like a few blocks for them to box in uh, to box in like the this thing and the items can't go through like these gaps which won't activate the uh, tripwire the items won't go through here but they do go through the tripwire and the tripwire doesn't activate so that's kind of an in-game bug and hopefully um, Mouyang would fix it but until they fix it there's actually no way other than putting a clock here 
to prevent that from happening. So um, let me explain to you guys like how this can be expandable. So the first thing is um, you can use this for um, a usual like smelting system. You just put in items into this dropper and then they will get automatically sucked into the furnace but just keep in mind that um, sometimes it may malfunction so probably put a hopper timer which is designed by ethos labs by the way and just put it into um, put it into this space like replace this mono saber circuit with a uh, timer below and uh, you can set whatever item to use but that doesn't matter anyway so um where was i oh shit yeah this is this is what happens when i have like a low frame rate. i'll actually explain to you guys why this happens um wait a second so all right let's put it back here and stuff <coughs> all right so I kind of forgot where was I. So let's just start and view this thing. Um, so what you need is probably all you can see here, and uh, you kind of need a slabable or or stirable block. That for here I have used quartz block because this can't be a solid block, or it will actually be an unstable like looping clock thing so if you guys like don't understand what i'm talking about then just remember you have to use a stair here and uh, this block is actually just fine it's just a normal block so let's go and start building this thing so firstly you can locate your um, furnace just put it somewhere and then you're going to need some hoppers some of them are okay and then you're going to put um, a dropper facing either side is okay it's it doesn't matter like um, east or west or north itself which way you're facing but you are going to need two observers which go in the way like this and you can already hear it clicking so you need to do something to stop it and uh, what you need to do is okay, this this gets annoying quickly you need to put a repeater facing into a block that goes into the dropper and then you need a comparator that goes here all right so now whenever it has items it will throw it out but whenever it doesn't have items it will not click so that's the first part and then you are going to need to put a dropper facing into the furnace that's pretty easy too and you are going to need um, well what I meant by stairable block is a block that has a stair type you are going to put a block here for aesthetics and then you are going to put a stair block of that kind backwards facing downwards here and uh, you're going to need a comparator that goes out of the out from the dropper and then just well actually I'll use the white concrete um, and then it goes down here and then another comparator to extend the same signal and then a sticky piece then goes up to create a more stable circuit and then a rest on repeater to extract a more stable circuit signal and then you are going to need well I think that can be a that can be a block did I use a block no but I believe this can oh don't use a block that because it will actually um, stop this hopper from running momentarily which is still not too good so let's just stick with uh, redstone here and here and up here and then redstone repeater right there then you are going to put um, 
there's no button here for manual control and uh, the next thing you need to do is to kind of box up the shooting area of the dropper so here I'm going to use um, white stained glass and then for here you can actually as for aesthetics again you can use uh, the stairable blocks the stair of the stairable blocks so it could actually look a little better here you go so you you can hide like um all these redstone just by like doing something like that and uh, like that yeah that will be all right but yeah and then you're going to need to put some tripwire thingy here let me see oops let's get a string all right and then you are going to put a dropper below it so remember it has to be um, two blocks well one block more than well you need to leave a block of space here because if you don't any item who which um, falls into this area would actually be picked up by the hopper without activating this tripwire so for that to work uh, more reliably you can act what you can do is actually um, putting it even lower than that because it's not going to go anywhere other than on the hopper either way and uh, yeah that would work out and I think that would actually probably make it more reliable and I keep on breaking stuff that I shouldn't break alright there we go and uh, and the next thing you need to do is pretty simple just do um, we'll remove this first just do two torches that go like this and then just place the rest of them back and is that all? I believe so, you just need to put another hopper here to refuel your stuff and probably put a chest full of fuel let's just do some coal that will automatically refuel this furnace and uh, whatever you need to smelt you can go and put them into the input place and as you can see it starts melting and uh, actually let, let's make it uh, smell three items only did it continue smelting? oh wait I might have fucked it up because oh yeah yeah I took items right out of this and then put it back in which is actually not what you should do um, you need to do it in one go so like that yeah so you need to some kind of in input into this and don't mess with like don't take items out of it and put it back in manually because it would probably mess it up all right so that's the second last item and then that's the last item And here it goes. Oops. Wait, why does it not? Oh, because I forgot stuff. Alright, I forgot some things. That's why you need to test it. The only thing that I forgot is um is a torch that needs to be placed here because it needs to lock this hopper. Alright, so let's do this game. So three more iron and uh, we are going to be smelting um, 8 iron ingots in total which if we pick up the last iron ingot here it should be giving us um, 8 items well 8 iron ingots worth of experience 
so in the meantime let me show you guys how you can like fit this into anything that looks good you need to have um, some kind of yeah you need to have some kind of design that looks like this or this kind of design needs to be able to fit into your um, I don't know home base or something but I mean it kind of doesn't look too bad especially um, with well the pillar blocks and the stairs but you have to use stairs here if you want them to look good and you ha you have to have a block right here yeah so that's the idea and uh, is that the last item yeah so let's let's go to survival well actually this way is survival and then let's uh, clear all our our levels and uh, we need to go up there how do we do that uh-huh let's do five blocks is that enough oops i messed up here oh that's not enough so let's do seven blocks oh we fell out of the space okay all right moment of truth if you pick this iron ingot up it is not going to give you uh, one iron ingot worth of experience it's going to give you eight of them there you go so yeah that's how this thing works and um, hopefully oh actually before this episode ends i'm going to give you guys an idea of how this can be used which i'm probably going to put into my let's play uh well, with my friends too which is you can actually well, let's not do spectator you can actually use this in the cat form so if you guys don't know kelp is what is added into the game um, in 1.13 and uh, it spawns under the ocean and it's very easy to farm and uh, you can watch uh, Mumbo Jumbo's video on how to farm it like, manu uh, like automatically but that's not the point the point is you can use this both as a uh, as a material to be smelted and also after you smelt it it will become dried kelp and if you craft it into dried kelp block they can each smelt 20 items and um, you can use this, them as few but also you can you can smelt them so you can make this furnace uh, system or xp storage system whatever you call it circle around and Although you need some manual part because you will need to craft the items by yourselves. Um, but other than that, it's kind of semi-automatic and you can get kind of infinite XP by just grabbing the last item out of this furnace. So that's an idea that I'll give you and uh, hopefully you guys can utilize it and use it in your world. Yeah, and uh, before I go, let me show you guys how this system is actually a little bit flawed and there are actually ways that you can improve it so the first thing is um, it actually smells item one by one and uh, fuel consumption is actually continuous so if you are going to put like more than one item in it is going to consume one well more than more than just um, how it usually consumes so for example if you use the kelp block originally it is going to be able to smell 20 items but if you use this xp farm one kelp block can only smell 16.5 items and if it's not continuous or you're just doing one by one you will actually be only be able to smell 16 items and if you're using coal usually in um in the old formal way you can only well you can smell eight items originally but if you use this XP farm, you can only smell six items. So there are ways to improve it by actually putting two items in parallel to smell instead of one. And um, you can actually do it by pressing this button one more time when it actually already has one item in it. But there are actually more ways to improve it by probably adding something into this um, design. But other than that, this is the kind of a starting idea of how um, an XP storage system would look like. 
and hopefully you guys have enjoyed and uh, would get something inspiring from this device. And hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.